So I had an epiphany for our last workshop. Oh, excellent. Share it. Share it all. By all means. Well, people ask me, friends and family, women in the circle will always ask, how does doing the workshops, running them, leading them, change your life or influence you? Uh, you know, I've been doing it for so long that it's just part it's of second my... Second nature. <laughs> it's part of my routine. But I think it's um, a routine that's very helpful. So I was sitting in the, in, in the circle and I had a rough week that week and it would have been really easy for me just to be bitchy and selfish and cold. And I found myself, and I always do, when I get on the subway after day <laughs> one, I look at everyone on the subway and I'm like, I love them all. I could have sex with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I always felt after group sex party back in the 60s. And we would see that as like perversion or promiscuity or like dominance. But for me, it's more like I can see the beauty in everyone. And that they really are available. And the humanity in everyone. So it struck me, I'm like, you know... It's, it's a, a kind of acceptance, isn't it, of self first. First you accept yourself. Yep. First you connect to yourself. First you have pleasure with yourself. Yep. And that is very inclusive. And so pleasure builds compassion. Oh, very good. And I thought maybe that's what's missing in our world culture. You're seeing this like hostility towards people that are poor and we kind of blame instead when someone's in need and, and we just don't seem to be as altruistic <laughs> I don't know, as we used to be. And you've lived your whole life like that. And you've been you're grounded, selfful, and generous. It's my business. <laughs> I'm in the business of self-love and generosity and don't worry too much about money. And I haven't, and I don't. Which is the direct opposite of the culture that we're living in, the things that we value, the ideals we espouse. I remember so many guys, like remember Al Goldstein, may he rest in peace. He could not get over the fact that I hadn't, that I hadn't made a lot of money. You didn't cash in. I didn't cash in. You just, what, 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 what? And I said, well, I have enough. I really have enough. Well, you have everything that you want. The things that make you happy. Well, I love my apartment. You love your apartment. You love your work. You've expressed yourself. You've lived a life without regret. You don't look back as an older woman saying, oh, I wish, if only. It's more like, maybe I could have brought it back a little. <laughs> like, did I have to go that far? I love my computer. <laughs> I want to hug it. The relationships and the experiences, <clears throat> when you're in that foundation of pleasure, you would think the opposite. I think we're raised to think that people who are hedonists and seek pleasure are selfish and mean and cruel, and I think it's the opposite. Opposite, opposite. They're the most giving, they're the happiest, they're the most open-hearted. It's all the good things. That's what they, we're all the good things, not the bad things. It's the people that are being careful, parsimonious, saving for a rainy day, and being, you know, very, ugh, all the tight asses. You know, I think we have to make the choice, right? The choice to love ourselves, the choice to pursue pleasure, and the choice that to live. That is so extravagant. <laughs> but it's not. Because the more pleasure I have in the, my life, if the more I love my fellow man. That's what's fucked up about it. Every time you say that, I think, oh, you're, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you selfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jerking off in circles, displaying uh, your vulva all over the uh, world. Oh, such extravagance. Well, there we are. I think we all deserve a little bit of extravagance. Say, get as much as you can, as, as you want. To me, just waking up in this beautiful space all by myself is extravagant. That's your pleasure. I get so much pleasure out of the body sex groups and working with you and my computer and this website. Oh, I, I love and adore it. I'm so proud of the website. 
But the first thing I do every morning is I go to the website, and it says Betty Dawson with Carla Moss, and I think, hmm, oh, <laughs> well, we're somebody. <laughs> we're here on the website, yes, and I read it, and I look at what we've done, and, and <clears throat> everything I've written, everything you've written, everything everybody has written for our website is special. Pleasure for all. For all of us. This more holiday pleasure. season. Yeah, more pleasure. Especially <laughs> Americans. <laughs> we oh. need it right now. Oh. Smile, laugh, have fun, relax. And orgasm. Masturbate. <laughs>